Hello and welcome back to Ghana University Application Tips, the ultimate destination for all your university admission needs. And in today's video, we are diving into an exciting topic that's going to make your journey to the University for Development Studies, Tamale, a breeze. Are you ready to embark on an incredible academic adventure? Well, stick around because we are about to walk you through the step-by-step -step online application process for UDS Tamale. By the end of this video, you will all have the knowledge you need to confidently submit your application online. But that's not all. We will also explore some hidden gems on the university's webpage that you might not know about, helping you get the most out of UDS experience. So whether you're a first-time applicant or you are just looking to brush up on the process, you are in the right place and let's get started. So using the Google search engine, you type UDS for short or you can use the link that is www.uds.edu.gh and you see the homepage for University for Development Studies. So this is the official home page for the University for Development Studies and let's quickly and let's quickly scroll through some of the important notices pasted on the university website and we should take note of the notice of extension of deadline for WASI applicants. We can click on read more to find out more about this notice and it says extension of deadline for WASI applicants. The deadline for persons applying with WASI results has been extended to the 29th of December 2023. This new deadline does not apply to mature as well as the access courses. So kindly take note of this important message from the University for Development Studies. So we can also look at the admissions tab and look at uh, a page like the entry requirements for the programs which you want to apply to the University for Development Studies. So we click on the entry requirements page. Our main interest is that of the regular full-time programs. So you also click on the regular full-time programs. And we start by looking at a program like the Bachelor of Medicine under the School of Medicine. And the requirement states that applicants must obtain English language, mathematics, integrated science, and any three electives such as chemistry, physics, biology, or elective mathematics or its equivalents. And there's an important message that all applicants with aggregate 6 to 9 will be shortlisted for an entrance exams and interview. And the fee will be going for 300 Ghana CDs. There's also admission to a two-year BSc Physician Assistant Anesthesia program and the BSc you will require a diploma in any of these fields that's a diploma in Registered General Nursing, RGN, Diploma in Psychiatric Nursing, Diploma in Nursing Anesthesia or if you hold a BSc Nursing, Psychiatry or Midwifery, you will be eligible for the BSc Physician Assistant Anesthesia program. There's also the six year Doctor of Medical Laboratory Sciences and the entry requirements are English Language, Mathematics, Integrated Science, plus three credits and three WASA electives, which is Biology, Chemistry, Physics, as well as Mathematics. There's also the four year BSc Community Nutrition degree and this program is also for pure science applicants and the electives are biology chemistry physics and mathematics there's a bsc dietetics program the same biology chemistry physics mathematics we move on to the school of nursing and midwifery and there's a four-year bsc nursing 
MBSC Middle Free Program. And you should take note that this program is for only pure science applicants, as stated on the website. We move on to the School of Nursing and Midwifery, and you should take note of this important message that business subjects are not advised to apply for nursing. Only pure science subjects or agric science, general arts, home economics candidates are eligible to apply. So the requirements specifically states English language, mathematics, integrated science as your core subject and three of any of the following electives. So if you have physics, chemistry, biology, elective maths, you have any three of these electives, you are eligible for the nursing and midwifery program as well as that for the non-sciences which is stated here from number one to number 15. So if you have any three of these electives, you are eligible for this particular program. Social studies is not accepted as a core subject and therefore not used in calculating your aggregate. So the cutoff point for nursing, BSc nursing, the category of science students was aggregate nine and that of females was aggregate 10. So for the pure science applicants with physics, chemistry, biology, elective mass, the cutoff point was aggregate 9 for males as well as aggregate 10 for females. And that of the non-science students was aggregate 7 for the males and aggregate 8 for the females. The same goes to that of the Bachelor of Science in Midwifery. The same cutoff point applies for the Bachelor of Science program in midwifery. There's also the Bachelor of Science in Nurse Practitioner. Um, this program is for the diploma to degree holders and it's a three-year BSc degree program and you must be registered nurse before you can apply for such a program. There's a program like the Bachelor of Science in Pediatric Nursing, also a two-year program and you must have obtained a diploma from a nursing institution. There's also the School of Public Health and the undergraduate programs are the BSc Health Information Management, the BPH Public Health, the BSc Health Education and Promotion and the entry requirements for the BSc Health Information management are all stated i cannot go through one by one so kindly take your time and visit the page for entry requirements to read the requirements carefully moving on to the school of pharmacy and pharmaceutical sciences there's a six-year doctor of pharmacy program and this is also for pure science applicants moving on to the faculty of education there is a certificate in early childhood studies, diploma in basic education, diploma in early childhood care and education, post diploma in basic education, post diploma in early childhood care and education, as well as a diploma in basic education. So take your time to go through the entry requirements one by one and know what the university requires of you before applying to the University for Development Studies. There's also the Department of Business Education and the programs are all listed below. There's also the Bachelor of Education Social Sciences and it also has its entry requirements stated below. There's also the Bachelor of Education Mathematics a Bachelor of Education in Information, Communication and Technology, ICT. And let's look at the entry requirement for that of for ICT. It states that you require English language, mathematics, integrated science or social studies and three elective subjects. It didn't really state what specific elective subjects you require. So it means it needs any three elective subjects. So whether business students, visual arts, home economics, science, you are eligible for the BSc 
Information Communication Technology Program. There's also the Faculty of Sustainable Development Studies and they run a four-year BA Communication Development Studies. Also take note of the entry requirements, BA Gender and Development Studies, Department of Development Management and Policy Studies. There's also the Department of Planning and Land Administration and they run the four-year BSc Land Administration program. And looking at the entry requirements for WASI, you require English, Mathematics, Integrated Science, Social Studies and three electives including Geography, Economics, Elective Maths, Government and the aggregate score of the best six subjects. Three core and three electives should not exceed aggregate 36. There's also the four-year BSc planning program, four-year BSc sustainable development studies, under the business school they have BSc banking and finance, human resource management, marketing, moving on to the Nangpala campus you will find most of their agri programs located in such campus. We have the BSc Agri Business, BSc the Diploma in Agriculture Technology, the Faculty of Natural Resources and Environment. All these four-year BSc programs are also run under the faculty. The Forest Resource Conservation and Management. Faculty of Social Sciences also run the four year social work, sociology, political science, as well as the history program. Faculty of Engineering, Mechanical Engineering, Agri Engineering, Environmental Engineering, Geological Engineering. We also have the School of Veterinary Sciences, they run the Doctor of Veterinary Medicine. Faculty of Communication and Media Studies. So upon going through all the entry requirements for a specific program which you are interested in applying to, you go back to the admissions tab. Let's look, let's quickly glance through the admissions cutoff points. So the School of Medicine general aggregate is nine. That of School of Pharmacy cut off at aggregate 12 and if you can afford full fee paying, the aggregate is 18. I earlier stated the School of Nursing and Midwifery cut off points which was included in the entry requirements and the School of Public Health also has their various cut off points. So kindly take notes. Example that of Doctor of Medical Laboratory Sciences is aggregate 12. So let's look at how to apply on the admissions tab. And the mode of application for Ghanaian applicants is that they are to purchase a 200 Ghana CDs e-voucher or a 250 Ghana CDs for postgraduate e-voucher. And the undergraduates, you are to purchase the 200 Ghana CDs at any of the following banks, such as Tank Big Bank, GCB Bank, Agricultural Development Bank, NIB, Prudential Zenith, as well as any Echo Bank branches and you have to visit the university website or there's an alternative mode where you have to pay online and the web page is there using your MasterCard or your Visa card and you should take note that all applicants are advised to follow this information you have to access the university's admission portal using this link in completing the online form applicants will be required to upload passport size photograph certificates and if you are not done you cannot click on the submit button 
applicants are advised to thoroughly check all details entered before finally submitting their online application. A form once submitted can only be viewed and not be edited. So kindly take note of this important information. And you have to print out your application summary with results slip certificates and all other relevant documents. These documents should be submitted in triplicate, three copies each to the head academic and student affairs. Applicants should also scan all documents, sign a copy of the application form, resource slip certificate and any validation ID and all supporting documents and send the following email address to admissions2022 at uds.edu.gh. So when you are done printing out, you are advised to scan the copies and send it to this email address and you take note that all documents as specified above should be addressed to the head academic and students affairs university for development studies p.o box tl1350 tamale ghana so let's move on to apply now let's click on getting started and these are still the same information we we looked at earlier you can glance through this information if you missed out any step and click on apply now so upon purchasing your voucher you have to sign up and create an account online and when you are signing up you need a username you can create a good username so we can give our username some 12 at 2023 the surname is mensa the first name is samuel the middle name is Kuju. the email address sam mensa at gmail.com we enter the same email address sam mensa at gmail.com we enter our phone number enter the phone number again we indicate our password and we confirm with the same password the bank which we purchased the voucher was from Ghana Commercial Bank the serial number and kindly take note that this is just a sample application to guide you through the online application process as well as that of our pin number So when you are done, you agree to the terms, you click on OK and sign up your online application. So when you are done creating the account, you enter the created username, which is the sum 12 at 2023 and we enter the password. Then we click on sign in so we've successfully logged in to our application and the first step is to upload your passport size photograph which will be of a white background so let's kindly upload our passport size photograph
click on save and continue for the application mode we click on regular the steady center we are going to click on the tamale not applicable we enter our biographical data the qualification we select wasi we re-enter our first name surname as well as that of the middle name you enter your date of birth as well as that of your nationality your hometown your home region and your postal address Country of residence will indicate Ghana. You enter your telephone number, your email address, and re enter your email address again as a confirmation. You enter your religious denomination. Are you physically disabled? We enter no. How would you sponsor your studies? We are going to enter self sponsoring. You indicate the details of your parents and your guardians and the relationship as well as their occupation they occupy. So after entering your parents guardian telephone number you click on save and continue and move on to the next step which is your educational background so with the educational background you enter the name of the school which is nifa senior high school you enter the district the region the country the date you started school the date you ended school as well as any of positions you held back in school.
So after entering the details, you click on save and continue and enter your exam results details. And Samuel Mensa is an awaiting applicant, awaiting his just ended WASI results. So you click on the awaiting results type. His exams was written in the month of September. The country is Ghana. You indicate your index number and confirm your index number and click on save and continue. So with the program choices, because you are an awaiting applicant, the university will not allow you to enter the programs for now. So you have to wait for your results to be in before you can go ahead and apply for the various programs. So please take note that when your results are in, kindly log back and change the awaiting option to I have results to enter your grades as well as your programs. So for now, we'll just save and continue to the next application process. So the next category is about your employment background. And with the employment background, if you know you haven't been in active employment or haven't worked professionally before, you can Click on the add employment and indicate not applicable to all the categories and click on save changes to continue your application. So as an awaiting applicant, you can view your application summary and because your details are still awaiting, it is advised that you don't submit your application at this point. You can log back with your created username as well as that of your PIN number and go and make the details. Now I have results. And enter the programs that you wish to apply before you can finally submit your online application and it's a wrap folks i hope you found this video helpful if you have any questions or you need further assistance please don't hesitate to drop them in the comment section below also be sure to hit the like button if you found this video informative and subscribe to Ghana University Application Tips for your more insightful content on university admissions across Ghana. Thank you for joining us today and the best of luck with your application to UDS Tamale. Your academic journey is about to take flight and we are here to help you soar.